look, look, I'm gonna tell you right now, all this new stuff is it's the same thing. You know who the best runners of all time were? You? No, of all time. <laughs> of all time. Uh, Cavemen. It's because. Because of what? Because they just use their body. Cause... No, because if you ran slow, you died. <laughs> so you think they ran all prissy? Oh, here's a lion. Boop, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop. Hell no, they put their feet down and they ran. And guess what? The one that ran prissy, he died. He was dinner. And the one that ran right, his genes were passed on. So, cycle. It's, it's all about the cycle. Put the foot down. It's not all this stuff. <laughs> but it makes, does it make, does it, doesn't it make sense? It makes sense. If Popo -po came around the corner, you're not going to go and say, oh, let me just, just go, get all the way. You're going to put your feet down and run. I ain't going to run. What you going to do? Or if a bear comes around the corner. But, I'm, but I'm, my point is, is that don't get away from what's re you, you know that I'm going to put my feet down and run. You're not going to just go prancing and all that kind of stuff. That's the point. But then we get in here, we try to teach prancing. But we should just, just teach people how to run. Kids know how to run most of the time. They're taught to do this stuff. So that's what we got to do. That's why I keep saying put your feet down because when your foot applies to the ground under you, it pushes down. You push down into the ground, and as you go by it, you still push down. So now your foot is here. You're still pushing down. What happens is that the hip extensor is here, okay? And your Achilles tendon, why do you think your Achilles stretches? So it stretches so it can Snap push. Back. Snap back. Now, your, your, your hip extensor stretches, and so if you push all the way up the ground, right, your foot, it'll pull your foot around and put it right down. So that's what I'm telling you, but you guys want to put, you know, to put it out. So when you go out, it stops and you're not pushing because you're, so now why do we talk about your sitting? When you're sitting, you sit because you're not stretching, pushing all the way off the ground. So you sit to pull it through. So what we would say, put it straight down. And as your body goes over, you stay tall, you push off the ground and your foot cycles and goes down. Now, the last thing that should lead the ground is your toe, your big toe. Why do you think your spike is on the big toe? Why do you think if you cut your big toe off, you can't walk, you, have, you limp? But then when you run, you want to stop here and pull your foot off the ground. So that's why I say all the time, if you want to jump, if you want to just jump like one foot, how do you do it? Load it. Off the ground, no, just do it. Jump one foot off the ground. No, with two feet. Now, if you want to go higher, what do you do? Right, so why don't you do that running? See, that's what I'm saying. We try to overthink it, and I think we want to keep it simplified. Just put your foot down and stay tall. Okay, all right, Mario.